Well, welcome back. A lot of new changes will be happening next year in the state legislature. Democrats have control of the Senate. New powers will emerge. But what will this mean for upstate New York? Our Capitol correspondent Morgan McKay lays out some of the issues that the state could be looking at in the coming months. All the Democrats needed was to flip one seat in the Senate, but they blew past that number and gained eight seats. Now with Senator Andrew Stewart-Cousins at the helm, what does this mean for upstate communities? Very excited for my conference, for Andrea Stewart-Cousins, the best leader I've had, and uh, ready to embark upon uh, very important legislation. But many fear that with Democrats now controlling both houses, expensive progressive agenda items will be quickly voted through without much fiscal responsibility. Most specifically, single payer health care. They say that, you know, down the road, single payer health will be cheaper in the long run. I've never seen a government program that wound up being cheaper in the long run. So this will be a surprise to me if that ever happens. Republicans especially worry about the costs associated with single-payer health care. But many Democrats ran on this platform and are now pointing to this as one of their reasons for success. But Governor Andrew Cuomo cautioned Democrats this week about moving forward too quickly. Voting reform, bail reform, and more gun regulations will most likely be some of the first bills to go through. But after that, the legislature will most likely be taking a look at health care and even possibly recreational marijuana. But these are definitely items that many downstate lawmakers ran on. Mark Molinero, during his concession speech, reminded the parties not to forget upstate. I challenge uh, Governor Cuomo uh, to work... Uh, with all of those New Yorkers who feel like they're on the outside looking in. In upstate counties, Republicans were able to keep a few of their seats, but still lack a strong presence in the Senate. However, there is talk that Senator Fred Akshar from Binghamton could be one of the top possible contenders for Senate Minority Leader. What we do know is that the tone of how the legislature is going to operate will be set within just the first few days of session. Reporting from the Capitol, I'm Morgan Mackay.